let us understand the rules of debit and credit and we do this for assets and expenses let's see it first for assets now there could be two, two situations the asset could be increasing or the asset could decrease increase when you buy it you purchase it you get it by way of gift when I say you I mean business so whenever there is an increase in the asset whether it was because of purchase you buy it you purchase it you gift it the increase in an asset is always debited and a decrease in an asset consequently this could be because of sell or you gift to someone or an asset is destroyed in all these cases there's a decrease in the asset and this decrease is always credited you can watch us at iadubook.com as well so the rule of debit and credit insofar as an asset is concerned is that if there is an increase in the value of the asset for any of the following reason you debit it you debit the asset account if there is a decrease in the value of the asset then you credit it if I were to show this in the form of T account let's say this is the asset account you have a debit side to this you have a credit side to this so suppose you buy an asset from let's say X so you asset debited to X whatever be the number this is for buying if you sell you write buy X and you read it as asset account credited by X hundred okay that's how the representation is done in the accounts let's see for the expenses seems I have used more space but nevertheless let me use a different color rule of expenses again the expenses could be increased or decrease and when I say expense I mean loss as well so increase in an expense or a loss just like an asset is debited and a decrease is credited the reason why we clubbed these two together was that the rule for them are same any increase is debited any decrease is credited now when can an increase happen when you incur an expense you pay for an expense you are forced to make payment decrease in expense let's say you get a refund you're paid back your money okay someone gives you a discount that's a decrease in the expense so in those cases these expense accounts or loss accounts are credited just like here in an asset in expense also let's say instead of this this was an expense account when you increase in an expense suppose you incur an expense you make a payment for an expense you would debit it hence you would credit 